going on, Count? Let's, uh, let's have a malt liquor. You see me drink that 40 in under three minutes earlier? Yeah. That was pretty hot. <laughs> um, you're talking about video games. Uh, are they art? Uh, but let's just kind of just talk about video games. Um, Miss Runaway 5 did a 30 days of gaming, and I just went over it recently looking for uh, what I was most just interested in. Uh, have you ever, in a gaming moment, got to a gaming landscape that was so breathtaking that you just like, you stopped shooting things and said, uh, oh my god, look how gorgeous this place is. Um, and when I, when I was thinking that, that, when I asked him that question, and I'll ask you again, Mr. Runaway 5, if you'd like to jump in here uh, with us. Water's fine. Um, where have you been in a video game where you just stopped and thought, this is so beautiful? Um, mine's Halo. And, uh, oh, let me get that out of the way. And let me, let me uh, adjust the volume. It's so hot this summer. Perfect malt liquor weather. So uh, there's this part in Halo, my Halo, not your fancy Halo that you kids play. And every time I say, well, one time in Halo I did this, and the kids say, you can't do that in Halo. You, do, you can in Stone Age Halo, when it first came out, before you were born. Anyway, there's this, uh, it's, it's, it's between two chapters. Um, Master Chief comes through a, a, a narrow, narrow valley, water flowing down it. That water becomes a waterfall, and uh, that waterfall goes down into a valley, almost like a pit. Uh, and, and the pit is lined with all, this, all these shelves and trails uh, and uh, ledges and overhangs. And uh, there's pools down there, and the place is just full of enemies. And they're all rolling around because, you know, most likely you're holding a sniper rifle. Um, and I did have a sniper rifle, but what I did right then is rather than open fire on everybody, was just look through the scope at everything. It was just beautiful. And uh, it was almost like after I was done, you know, slaughtering everybody, I probably would have took my little power armor off and bathed my feet in that gorgeous... Uh, aquamarine uh, crystal clear water. Uh, that was a good moment. Good gaming moment. Uh, so, uh, I, I would say, uh, you know, there's no doubt in my mind that uh, video games are art. And uh, I really like the transition um, that I'm seeing a lot from just straight up slaughter to uh, moral choices. Um, and I'd really like that to be explored. Because I actually really, like, if you choose the negative moral choices, um, you essentially become like a cartoon evil character. And I think that should be uh, avoided. I think that uh, uh, you, t you take the... Uh, let let's imagine like where the video games, like, you know, you're going to rule a kingdom. You're, uh, you're a displaced prince, and you, you want to rule a kingdom, and... Uh, you have these moral choices to make, and some of them you're obnoxious or rude or demanding or kind and honest and giving. Um, I think you'd both arrive at some sort of like you know source of power, um, so you, you know, both choices would win, and uh, and neither choice would actually be like really negative, except for uh, the subtle brush strokes that uh, the. Uh, the one king in his uh, in his castle is surrounded by people who who helped him get his throne and uh, love him and would protect him and uh, uh, want only what's best for him because they believe that's what's best for uh, uh, their land. And then the and the other one, uh, like you all, you take the, uh, the the worst moral choices. Let's say um, you could still win, um, but what you have people around you then are people that are doing their job. Um, probably out of fear, out of or uh, out of how you pay them, um, 
but you know, no one, no one there is going to like you know cry if you get poisoned the next day. Uh, but they might not necessarily be into poisoning you, uh, poisoning you either. Um, so I, I would like, I would like moral choices to be put in video games, but uh, um, I think there's a drive to make negative moral choices be, uh, you know, wrong, douchey, and. Uh, the, the, the thing, though, is that negative uh, moral choices uh, work. There are people, people, uh, so, some of them work better than, uh, um, you know, sometimes kindness is uh, not going to pay off as, uh, as hugely as uh, viciousness. Um, so, you know, in ma many cases, maybe that person's uh, army is bigger or uh, their castle has more fortifications, that kind of thing. Uh, just less, just less friends around the dinner table, and all the dogs are angry. <laughs> uh, what else? Oh, you mentioned, uh, do I get, uh, or, or do people, do you get angry um, when you're playing a video game about how uh, how the art can evoke emotions? Uh, you, yeah, you can feel all sorts of things playing a video game. Um, but you're right, actually, in that I I don't feel anger uh, when I play a video game. If uh, it's the same thing when I play, uh, my, the, my first love uh, was chess, and I would uh, I'd get every. I mean, you start learning to play chess. Everybody that you play is going to know more than you. Uh, you're never going to win a game until you play a million of them. Um, and so I felt what I learned uh, from that was if you're losing a whole lot good. That means you're, you're learning a whole lot. Um, actually, I, I really stopped playing chess when I got good enough to kind of win a lot. It stopped becoming challenging. And it was harder and harder to find really good players. And the, uh, the, the pool of really good players got smaller and smaller. I know you could play chess online now. Uh, back when I was playing chess, uh, that wasn't an option. Yeah, I'm old. I'm before online chess games. <laughs> um, so yeah, so uh, if you know, if I'm playing. I don't know what playing Call of Duty is like, even though I've watched a zillion uh, videos on it. Um, I play games like it, and uh, if, yeah, if I get if I'm getting mowed down, uh, mowed down, um, I don't get angry. Um, the closest I get to angry. Uh, if there's any kind of verbal misunderstanding, like you're typing stuff out, you know, trolling, you know, the video trolling. Uh, and part of what makes that angry is uh, you kind of get a feel for uh, the game, you get a feel for your teammates. And if there's a couple of people on your side that uh, are really rude and a couple of people on their side that are really rude, you're, I'm like, it's just ruined for me now. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to spin the wheel and hope I'll end up in another uh, video game, uh, another lobby. I guess they're called lobbies now, um, where hopefully people won't be so terrible. And uh, sometimes that would happen over and over again. I'd end up quitting. I'd go down to like the uh, the internet cafe and play games there, and I'd end up just like leaving. And, um, so like my evening would kind of be spoiled. That'd be the closest I'd get to being angry about it. Um, but it's, I, I mean, I love video games. I'm looking forward to getting back involved in uh, in PC games. Mr. Runaway Five was saying that uh, he was quoting statistics on uh, supportive playing being higher on PC games, and uh, he was complaining uh, a lot about uh, Mr. Run. You mentioned a lot about uh, um, people don't help each other out. They're not doing uh, they're not doing the med stuff or the support stuff. They're not working as a group. Uh, they're a bunch of uh, in individuals just slaughtering, murder and mayhem. So, uh, so I, I like that idea of going PC and hopefully playing with some people that have a little bit more, uh, um, you know, s spirit of the group. All right. Uh, some other other thoughts on video games, but I think that's enough for now. It's definitely art. It's definitely a blast, and uh, if uh, if either of you two, Mr. Runaway 5 and uh, Count Hector, Christian, have uh, moments when you got into a game and just paused and said, God, that's beautiful. 
uh, let me know. And uh, the rest of the Tube Tribe, uh, you're, you're welcome to, to pipe in, uh, chat with us, and uh, tell us your, uh, your, your great moments of gaming or the most beautiful gaming moments you've had. Even if it's chess, people. Even if it's chess. Malt liquor.